Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And this is the first part of January 2023. I'm in a warehouse that is not heated and it is uh, in the low 40s. <laughs> and, but it's uh, a weekend and it's kind of quiet here. And so I thought I'd take that opportunity to get this video out. So this video is going to be kind of an update of a video that we've done twice before. We originally did this, uh, you know, how much does it cost? I think we had one that says, why does it cost so much? And, and that type of thing. Um, and so we did the first one in April of 2014. We did an updated uh, version in February of 2017. And we're going to do January 2023. So we are just, these are the five main components in a conversion. Okay. Uh, we've, we've put a couple together. So the motor controller are together. Uh, the adapter coupler, they're linked together. So anyway, so we've got, this, this is what we've compared over the last, well, 14, so what is that, eight years? So, um, it was a 21.4 kilowatt hour pack that we started off with. It was a 2.5 kilowatt charger. Uh, it was the AC50. And we used a generic uh, adapter coupler. And by generic, I mean it wasn't a specific design. It wasn't for just a VW or a, a, you know, a Ford or a Chevy. Um, we actually... These are Canadian electric vehicles and uh, this, their dealer pricing, okay? So, and the DC to DC converter was a small one, 400 watt uh, DC to DC. So, you can see the prices in April of 2014. Uh, for 21.4 kilowatt hour pack, it was 93.60. The charger was $700. The AC50 was $4,700. Adapter coupler was $800.375 for the DC to DC converter. And then just shy of three years later, the battery pack had gone down. The charger had gone up slightly. The motor controller was actually down. Uh, adapter coupler went up just a little bit. And this was the same DC DC converter, but we were getting them in larger quantities and stuff. So uh, I think that's how we got the lower price on that. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think that's what we were selling for retail at that time. So anyway, you can see that from 2014 to 2017, it actually came down almost $800. So, you know, does that trend continue in 2023? Are we still going down in price? Well, stick with me and let's find out. We've added the January 2023 prices some of these things could go up. We usually see price increases uh, sometime after February if we see things go up. That's typically, I mean, some things go up the first year, but I don't know. In this industry, we've seen a lot of, you know, February uh, through the spring price increases. But anyway, this is from my current research, first part of January 2023, battery pack. And this is, you know, a, 21.4 kilowatt hour pack like we talked about before. You can see the price is coming down. Uh, we're holding on the charger. Uh, and again, this is a the small charger, uh, the 
We don't use anything that small anymore. We use, on the smallest, we use a 3.3. Uh, but that's what we started off with back in 2014, so I've stayed with that as far as uh, pricing goes. Um, the AC50, most dealers, that's the price you'll see, $5,200. Adapter coupler, that's for, you know, um, most of the off-the-shelf couplers that are available. Currently are running about $1,300. Uh, DC to DC converter, um, you can see that they have gone up, but they've also, you're getting more for your money. Um, I don't know, you're getting more for your <laughs> It's a better DC to DC converter uh, versus like a 400 watt that we were pricing back here and here. This is a thousand watt. So you would expect it to be more. Um, and so that's the total for our five main components in January 2023. You can see we've been going down. And so, you know, I've had phone calls for the last. 14 years and people are oh, I'm waiting for the price to come down. Well, you can see on these main components. It hasn't come down a whole lot <laughs> Okay, and The overall cost of conversion has gone up The cost of these five main components has actually gone down a little bit But here's some of the items that have greatly increased in price just in the last few years Copper wire, aluminum, if you're making aluminum battery boxes or anything else, aluminum has really gone up. And shipping costs, unless you have all these things available in your backyard, you're going to pay to have it shipped to you. And shipping costs have gone up greatly. But so many of the little miscellaneous things have gone up in price. As a matter of fact, most of them have. And so even though these have pretty much held, the cost of everything else has gone up. Well, let's talk about something else, uh, kind of a, a benchmark for future videos, and that is the cost of a salvage conversion uh, in January 2023 and you know we're going with items that hopefully will be around say in five years and so that our our benchmark will kind of uh, have some meaning um, but so that's why I chose what I did so we're going to start off with we're using a 53 kilowatt hour battery pack that's basically 10 of the Tesla Model S modules. Uh, we're using those uh, modules. Mainly, the, the reason for 10, mainly is to get the voltage that we want. That gives us, you know, um, a nominal voltage of just under 230 volts. And that's where that motor that we're going to use, the Nissan Leaf motor, that's a good spot for it. Um, we could use a higher voltage and, and and be better off yet. But to keep the price down and all that, this is the this is what we're going to use going forward for our comparative. So a 53 kilowatt battery pack. These are salvaged Tesla Model S modules plus the necessary BMS to go with that brings our battery pack to $17,000. The cost of the charger, $730. And again, we're, these are kind of on the, the low economic end. Um, and that's what we've done throughout the years. We didn't get the absolute best. We didn't get the absolute cheapest, but we got on the lower end. 
Um, it's about $730 for the charger. Uh, you can get a Nissan Leaf uh, motor and inverter, and again, all the necessary components to make it operate for about $4,000. I know you could probably pick up one for less, but that's um, from a reputable company, so forth. And then we have the adapter coupler. Again, this is off the shelf. There's a company that makes these. Uh, and we went with the VW um, in this case. Um, so $750 for the adapter coupler. And the DC, DC converter uh, to match that voltage range and everything. We're at $549. You can get better runs and you can spend more. You can see it's the same one here. Um, and so that brings us to a total of $23,319. Now, as I mentioned in the very beginning, this is just, you know, these five main components. This is not the total cost <laughs> or anywhere near it. You have a lot of other components that are necessary that will go into this. And so you're looking at north of $30,000 by the time you'd be all said and done. So anyway, uh, just wanted to add that to the offering since this is becoming a more and more popular way to go. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions uh, for uh, future videos, we'd love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below. Um, please subscribe, like, and see you next time.